Hello, hello. <clears throat> so let's continue the campaign. Uh, we had a pretty successful uh, Black Barrel fight yesterday. Um, we're gonna do the Barrel Lair. Yeah, as you can see here, I, I played this one. I just played uh, one scenario. I played the Black Barrel a little test before I started my Twitch run. So, so let's do that. I only have solo scenarios in, uh, enabled. I'm not going to enable JAWS. So I will load. I got way too lucky at the Black Barrel. I don't expect the same kind of luck at the barrel layer and um, the barrel layer is a more difficult fight at least in my opinion it is um, so do we save the gold or do we get blessed do we want to push this devotion up To increase the party's devotion, I don't really know what devotion does. Does it increase reputation, wealth? Uh, does it give me perspective? I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm gonna donate. I think I'm gonna donate. Um, I want to get all the advantage I can get. So I'll bless a tinker. And I'll bless the scoundrel. All right, and we go to the barrel there. Encounter, road event, rustling, and a nearby ticket ticket stops you in your tracks. You crouch down, assume a defensive stance. Suddenly, a tiny ball of fur with short, stubby legs leaps out at you. It barks at you twice in, a, in an ineffectual, high-pitched tone, and then begins to wag its tail. You relax your weapons. What is such a small, defenseless puppy doing out in the wilderness? Oh my goodness. I think I'll just leave the puppy to fend for itself. I don't want to get involved. Which one is going to mess me up the most? I just don't want to start the next uh, fight with like poison, um, you know, whatever it is. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I'll leave the puppy here. Adorable as the puppy is, you are not the ones to take care for it. You are headed into danger, and you can't let anything distract you from the task at hand. It follows you for a while, barking in indignation, but it eventually wanders off. Ah, maybe it would have led me to some interesting rewards, I don't know. Mm. Too bad. The stench of death and rotting flesh gets thicker as you kick past the corpses of your foes and head deeper into the underground burial site. Guided by the muffled sounds of conversation, you find your way through the maze of crypts and burst into a small room full of hard-faced bandits, all with bows at the ready. They're clearly guarding something. You must be in the right place. Uh, I don't think this one is going to happen. You have five or more total cards in your hand and this card at the end of the scenario. Uh, take only short rests. Could happen, depending if we really destroy the first room really fast. This, this is more likely to happen. This is probably not going to happen. Okay. 
this is likely to happen this is not likely to happen so I'll take this yeah and uh, hmm, hmm. maybe I'm level one I need to use three items I have three items so that's that's pretty good uh, hopefully that's not gonna happen because that that means we probably fail the scenario we need more than seven experience points to finish the scenario so I don't think that's gonna happen I'll go with this one and uh, let me just review the cards I don't need to be super fast. Healing might be interesting. Because these guys will poison me, right? The, um... The archers are going to poison me. The, um... Zombies are going to poison me. Hmm. But I kind of want Sweeping Blow. Sweeping Blow also combos really well with the uh, Eagle Eye Goggles. But what do I leave behind? I, I kind of need Grab and Go. Trample is good against the skeletons. I need grab and go. Mm. So the question is do I leave eye for an eye, take sweeping blow? And then I leave Shield Bash for Wall of Doom. Mm, why do I want Wall of Doom? Well, Wall of Doom with Skewer with Eagle Eye Goggles is pretty strong. Wall of Doom with Sweeping Blow is pretty strong. Because the thing is, I'll, I'll be swarmed, right? This is the thing with this battle. You get swarmed. Because the Bandit Commander will, will do all sorts of stuff. Ah... Uh, yeah, shield bash and eye for an eye. I'm not. I'm not going to use those. Uh, I'll go with this. I'll try this <coughs> here. No, I don't want this card. This card is not bad. I still think I want the volatile concoction, though. There's a an interesting use for this to create bottlenecks. And Reviving Shock is good, but what do I leave behind? Maybe, maybe this? Proximity Mine? Because I don't need that much move here. Like, we're going to clear the first room, and then we walk into the second room, and we, and we just basically stay there the rest of the fight. So I don't really need a lot of move. So I, I really only have one move four, though two. I have two move fours. It's okay. I think I'll go like this. Now here. I don't think I want quick hands. I think I want Trickster's Reversal. I want Swift Bow. Thieves Knack is actually good here. Backstab is good too. I need Backstab for my plan. Um, throwing Knives is actually good too. I need uh, 
I need to uh, range the tax in this in this scenario. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go exactly like this. Because this thing, for me to double the attack, is actually pretty good against the boss. Alright, for the first try, I'm going to go like that. Backup ammunition, not good. This thing is also not good. And, uh, nope. All the air I'm going to produce is to be consumed by skewer. So I don't want that either. I think this is it. And we go in. Wish me luck. This one is harder than the last one. And the last one, I, I feel like I've... I've used up all my luck on the last one. Alright, let me see what I can do here. So I think hook gun is good. Right, we can hook on a gun, someone here. Oh, no, I need to stun shot. Uh, smoke bomb would have been good here. I could have pulled one. Because the only way I can push guys here is uh, this heaving swing. So I'd have to go unstable upheaval. And here. And then heaving swing. Right. So the scoundrel So the tinker is going to go stun shot <coughs> and uh, I'll, I'll try this one. The reason being, if these guys go too fast and they attack me before I can stun them, I can heal them right away. Otherwise I don't, uh, but you know what, I don't really need to heal anyone at this point. Hawk gun. Yeah, hook gun could be okay. I mean, I'm not gonna use hook gun on the other room. So I can just do that. <clears throat> now here, I should use this to move this guy into the trap. And I will attack with maybe throwing knives. And the brute is going to do Wall of Doom. So, okay, so here is the plan. The scoundrel goes first. She moves here, drags this guy here. So, it's, so the archer is stunned, and then attacks this and this with uh, throwing knives. Then it's going to be the Kragheart. So this space is going to be open. So the Kragheart goes here, 
and attacks this archer with heavy swing, pushing it into the trap. Now this tile is open, then the brute goes, jumps over the scoundrel, gets here, and disarms this guy. And then it's the tinker who's going to stun this guy. And then move somewhere. <clears throat> Alright, so we move. Okay. Craig Hart has to do this. So the brute comes here. Those arms. You stun. And, and, and I stay here. Um, <coughs> do I want to stay here? What am I gonna do next turn? I'm gonna move. I'm gonna go at. I'm gonna go at 18. I want to save Ink Bomb to walk into the room. It's my only move four. So I'm gonna go 18 and move with whatever. It doesn't really matter. Maybe flamethrower. Maybe reinvigorating elixir. Oh, reviving shock is not bad. I'll I'll keep it. I'm gonna I'm I can use net shooter. Yeah, net shooter is good. Okay, so I'll stay here. They cannot do anything this turn. That's interesting. Flanking strike and uh, this. This is pretty good. Uh, actually, I can do that then. Because I'm going fast enough. And this guy is going to go Toxic Bolt and uh, some sort of heal. Uh, to heal who? These guys are going to get hit, not. Okay. A uh, flamethrower, then. That's what I said, right? Yeah, flamethrower. Okay. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna try to kill this guy. Uh, no. I'm gonna try to kill this guy. Cause this guy's gonna shoot the scoundrel. The scoundrel's got Trickster's Reversal. Nice! Nice, we like it. Tinker. I think I'm gonna poison this one. Yeah, the Cragheart's going to attack this one for five. So I'm going to poison this one. I'm going to grab some coins here. So we do this first. Uh, you know what? I think I should do this one first. Because if by any chance he dies, I can move and grab the coins right away. Like that. All right, <clears throat> all right, Craig Hart. 
try to kill this one so we don't get attacked. Nice. Nice. And this one is going to attack the scoundrel, which has got Trickster's Reversal, so no damage. Okay. What do you do? You are going to do... I don't want to do that. Nobody needs healing. Yeah, you're gonna do that, and you do flanking strike, and uh, and it doesn't really matter. Swift bow, maybe, and you will do. Reviving shot and volatile concoction. Um. Maybe I want to save Volatile Concoction for the next room. And I'm just going to use... Uh, Net Shooter. Net Shooter is just so good. I'm going to have to use this then. 32. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Kill it. Kill it. Come on. Six. Nope. No. That's not it. Uh, I will stop here. The reason being, I'm preparing to go in next turn. And I will need Backstab, Venom, Shiv. And then I will do Special Mixture and... Uh, Probably something like maybe Swift Bow. So, no, 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 not Swift Bow. I will take something with low initiative, flanking strike. Okay. Come on, Craig Hart. Come on, Craig. Kill it. Kill it. Nope. Alright, Craig Hart's gonna get hit. We drew a null here. You know, those things happen. Oh, that's just two damage. Mm. Oh, look at this. Goodbye, two damage. That worked well. Okay, so now I do this. I'm not going to use the, the air. I'm not going to use the air. Alright, we go in. How do we go in? We go in like this. So we can attack the uh, archer. Because this is the thing, the, the, the first uh, couple of scenarios I've done a few times. So I get the advantage of knowing what the enemies are and what, uh, you know, where they are located. Uh, that advantage is going to disappear once I get to the fourth, fourth scenario of the campaign. But so far I know that on this room I'm going to walk one, two, three, four, five, six right here. 
and there is a table here for two tiles. There is an elite archer here, another elite archer here, and the boss is here. So I walk six, I, a six and I hit the, uh, the archer. The scoundrel is going to come from this side, move six, and hit this archer. Um, and then I move in with the other two guys. The problem with this strategy is that if I move in here and I hit the archer, right, and I go invisible, which is a possibility, I can go invisible with the scoundrel. Um, the problem is if the archers have the immobilize um, attack, then they're going to immobilize the brute. And then I can't go in and hit. So if the archers draw the immobilize card, I have to leave the scoundrel visible. So the scoundrel can soak up the two immobilized shots. And then I can still move in with the, the brute and hit the other archer. Right, so that's the plan. And um, here, Craighart can move five. They can even move six. So that's not a good that's not a good use of crater because it burns a card. I really would like to massive boulder one of the two archers or Dirt Tornado, them both. Uh, Massive Boulder is range 3, so if I move 1, 2, 3, 4, I can't reach them. I have to move 5, which means I have to go Dirt Tornado, Massive Boulder. Now that will leave me like garbage cards for the other rounds. I can also which is actually pretty good, is move one, two, three, four, five, six, get here. Because I know the boss is going to come here to open the door. So I can position myself right here with the Craghart, waiting for the boss to come here. Or I can position the Craghart here and then use Avalanche to block these two tiles and create a bottleneck here for the mobs that are inevitably going to show up. So I think I like this play. Flexibility it gives me. And here I have to move, I have to ink bomb and enhancement field, which is my biggest attack. But I, this is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, I can't reach anyone. So that's not good. So I will just do that and I'll heal. I'll heal whoever got uh, shot by the archers. Yeah, all right. So we go in. So what are they gonna do? Alright, so they don't poison anyone, and they have a range of six, and they, they do move. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, the Brute's gonna burn a card. Too bad. Too bad, there's not much I can do here. The brute's gonna burn a card. And he's going to summon a Living Bones Elite, which is the worst card he can he can use. Yeah, the Living Bones Elite is such a pain.
Yeah, that's uh, that's the worst card. All right, there's hope. There's hope. Another minus one here, and he doesn't have to burn a card. Yeah, that was asking for too much. Uh, sweeping blow is gonna have to go. All right, so. I can do that. Heal the brute. I can stop here. I don't want to stop here. I want to be here. I'll hear the. Br I'll heal the brute. Alright, do I want to use my stamina potion? I don't really want to use my stamina potion here. I can move... Five... And... Um, massive Boulder the boss. I have to kill the archers first. They are my top priority. I know the boss is really painful, but the archers are worse. They hit hard, they poison, they are a pain, they go fast. The worst that this guy can do is summon another living bones. So I have to kill this one. The scoundrel's gonna suffer damage. Too bad. Alright. It's you, brute. I have to stop here. Do I want to use this thing? What else do I have left? Nothing. I do. I want to use this thing now. Yeah, so that archer is not going to attack. Oh, this is great. I'm gonna create a bottleneck here. I'm gonna do this. Yeah. I think we lost. I think we lost. I think we lost. This is the worst start. This is the worst start. Can we prevent the summoning? We can't. I think I can afford to do this. Pretty good. Pretty good. Not. Uh, I don't want to get hit by the with the from the with the brute. Uh, I'm 
gonna have to short rest here, right? So I'll do this. Y yeah, target two anyway, so I'll stay here. Now this guy here has to come here. Heal the brute. And attack this guy. He needs to die. She needs to die. Like the archer needs to die. The archer needs to die. Yeah, this is this is just so bad. Bah! Okay. I think I'm coming here. But that's not good. It, it, it's fine. Okay, it's fine. Then this guy here, I should probably just immobilize this one. No, I have to start attacking the boss. I don't care if it is immune to immobilization. He needs to die. Mm -hmm. Do I really want to do this? Do I really want to do this? Because I can jump with Crater. And I can jump with Leaping Cleave. And this guy has ranged attacks. This start is really bad. I'll try this. If we fail, we fail. Cragheart can still use one more turn. Yeah, I'll do Massive Boulder. Long Rest is really dangerous here. If they draw that card that hits the same mercenary with all its attacks, we're in trouble, they got target three. We burn a card. So I don't have a choice, I cannot burn this card. I cannot burn this card, so it's gonna have to be Provoking Roar and... Uh, hmm. Leaping Cleave, Crater, Massive Boulder, hmm, yeah, but what do we do now? What do we do now? Short rest. Yeah, backstab is fine. We can do...
this and I'll do that all right he doesn't like to open doors okay so if I go here the living bones it will be fine is he immune to disarm? no okay then I'll disarm him oh but that's uh, hmm Well, that's not very good for the scoundrel. Because the scoundrel... So the best thing for me is to come here. Soak up these two. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, I'll take two damage here. It doesn't really matter. I'll take two damage. Yeah, the, these rolls are not helping. It can help the Craig recover a card. Hmm. It's not going to really do much for me. I can do this. Why would I do this? This is not very smart. Not very smart. I don't want to do a net shooter either. I don't think it's the time to do a net shooter. I can do this and attack. I'll take a hit. The skeleton's gonna hit me. I I don't mind. I don't mind. The skeleton can hit me. I'm gonna short dress so I won't spend the uh, eagle eye goggles. I'm on a short rest here. The heck? Oh, it's an attack four. Well, that was miscalculated. Yeah, I thought it was attack two. Yeah, that times two is really bad. That one really hurts. This one really hurts. I have to poison this guy. Attack him. Yeah. Look at that. I can't. I have to do this. Because I can't really do a uh, massive boulder here. Because I'll have to burn another card with the brute. And then it's pretty much game over. Ooh. Yeah, the times two here was really bad. It was the one card they could not draw and they did can heaving swing this guy into the obstacle. I'm not sure I want to. I think I want to... generate earth. So 
flanking strike here. Well, the brute has to get the heck out of here. Nope. Nope. The flamethrower is pretty much my best card here. Which I'm gonna use right now to put wound into the, the boss. Another... Oh, that one is good. This one is actually a good draw because he can't really... He can't really summon anything. So it's this. And this. Yeah, can't really summon. I can do this. It's not the time to do that. I don't think it is. The brute can't really move. He can. He can move with this card, so I burn just one instead of burning two. He's gonna be attacked by two, and uh, this is just not gonna, not gonna be good for me. I think the Cragheart will come here. Tinker. Oh, that was a bad mistake. Yeah, I need this. Yeah, wound here is nice. Move and heal, I have to get out of here. I should have gotten out of here with the Craghart. That was such a bad move. Alright, so attack. And then I have to burn a card here. One, two, three, four to get out. Or one, two, three, four to get out. Better. Better. This is better. Okay. Oh, that was a bad move. I did not need to take this damage. Oh no. Another mistake. Wow. Another mistake. Yeah, I can push the boss here. Really bad. Really bad. Okay. Move to the next door and reveal who room. Okay. I guess I can come here. That guy's gonna heal. What a pain you are. What a pain you are. I should just come here and try to kill him then before he heals. Yeah, you can do that. 
You can do that. <sighs> I'm going to stay here. What can I do here? That net shooter again? Um... Net shooter again. Maybe. going to re get ready for the next turn. Um, I can do that. Yeah, Scoundrel takes a damage, but I need to do this. My goodness. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. Yeah, they are moving. I did some big mistakes up there. Okay. Do I do the big move now? Big move now seems very good. Yeah, the big play now seems very good. We're gonna go for the big play. We're going to go for the big play. We're going to go for the big one. for the big one. All or nothing now. All or nothing now. All or nothing. Oh, that was pretty, pretty good. Uh, uh, do I reach? Oh, I can attack both of them. They hit for six. This guy hits for four, target three. He won't die. He won't die. This is not the smartest play. Ooh. Oh, wait. No. Nope. 
this is what I'm gonna do. Yeah, he definitely will not die like that. Uh, they are moving too, so... If I come here, I'm still okay. Well, that guy is opening another door. That guy's going to open another door, is he? Come on, Craig. You are our only hope. I can stay here. Actually, that's not smart. I should have come here. Too late now. I will resort to... Um, restart round, eventually. Come on! Die! Yes! Alright, so is he gonna die before opening the door? Because he's got one health and he's got wound. Let's see. Oh, they moved before the boss. This is great. Come on, boss. Just dies bef die before you open the door. Yes! Alright. Ah, this looks under control now. This looks very much under control. And I can actually ink bomb there. I can actually ink bomb here. Wow, triple minus one. <laughs> All right. Doesn't get much worse than that. All right, skewer here. Oh, forceful storm here, so beautiful. And then I can do Well, I can do this. And this guy here, well, this this is pretty good too. Holy. Oh, it's over. It is over. Just nuke them. Nuke them all. Oh yeah, that's not good. Goodbye. Now what are you going to do now? Oh wow, there's nothing for you to do. You cannot you can't even get to the chest. You can't even get to the chest. All right. Well, we just uh you just stay here. I guess you just stay here. There's really nothing to Oh, I could try and wait, wait, wait. Try and get the coins because I mean, this thing is under control now. Not, not much left to do. Ha ha ha.
Yeah, I can burn Leaping Cleave. It's over. It is over. One, two, three, four, five. I get the coin. Curse. Oh, that's right. I have curses on my deck. I guess I was really lucky here, too. It's the first curse I drew. And they all have three curses on the deck, so this is yeah. I, I oh, this is luck. I forgot about the tail. Forgot. Okay. All right. Enough. Enough of the bad luck. Yeah. Well, I can have all the bad luck here in the world. It still doesn't really matter. One, two, three, four, five. I can't attack. Nope. So I'm going to do this. Yeah, I can burn this. That's over. Wow! This thing just refuses to die. Die already. Come on. No. Oh, you're immobilized. Okay. Alright, scoundrel. Hey, Christopher. Thanks for following, bud. How's it going? Die, die. Uh, finally, okay. More coins for the Cragheart. All right, two for two. Sifting through the carnage left by the battle, you find a cache at the back of the room containing the scrolls you were hired to collect. You can't help but rifle through them a bit. But find that the writing upon them is in some unknown archaic language. One thing that does jump out at you, however, is a map of the northern countryside. A bend in the still river is clearly marked as a point of interest. Contemplating whether you want to find out more about this so-called gloom, you decide that the spot could be a point of interest for you as well. But that can be forgotten for the moment. You pack up the papers and head back to Gloomhaven to collect your reward. Yep. Right. So let's go back to Jaxera. Oh, we got three perk points. Ah, oh, man. This was the one of the easiest ones to get. I could have tried to pay attention to the battle goal a little more, but I guess not. So if the Brute was the MVP on the first fight, he didn't do much on the second one. And he almost exhausted. He didn't do a lot of damage. He just got really crushed. Well, it was misplays, really. I did some misplays there in the second room. Um, I got lucky with that times two on the scoundrel. That really 
allowed me to kill the boss before he opened the second door and um, uh, we got some some coins gold piles looted and scoundrel was the the one who looted the least for a second battle in a row this is this is unheard of I guess and Craghart MVP MVP Craghart all right So let's go back to Gloomhaven. Meeting Jet Sarah once again at the Sleeping Lion. You hand over the papers and are paid the agreed upon amount. You know. She whispers to you softly under the bustle of the tavern. If you're interested, I may have another job for you. A tribe of Inox in the Dagger Forest has ransacked a couple of my caravans headed to the capital. I told the militia, but they do nothing. She spits. I can point you in the direction of their encampment. If you can make an example of them, I will pay you even more. She places a crude map of the forest on the table and stands up, her jewelry clinking with the movement. Come find me when it is done. Plus one prosperity, plus ten gold each. Yay, I'm not sure I'm going to do this one. I heard it's difficult. I've never done it. But from what I heard, it's difficult. And um, I have done this one. It's not necessarily easy. Oh, and we have two level ups already. Wow, we really can't crank up the XP. Oh boy. Okay. And the Craghart's got enough gold to buy something else again. He's going to be fully kitted. Yeah, we're going to buy an armor and uh, an iron helm for him. Fully kitted. After two scenarios. Who would have imagined this? Uh... Oh, ignore negative item effects. Which means I can get this one. So I can get the 10 armor, I can get the iron helmet, and I can get blessed before going to the next uh, scenario. That would have been pretty good. I think that's the plan here for the Cragheart. So let's do it. This armor is awful, but it's just 10 gold. So here we are. Fully, fully kitted. All right. Let's do his level up then. Wait, let's do his level up. Level up. Cragheart. Uh, we like this card. We like this one too. Attack 2, range 3, with a couple of slots for enhancements.
The other one is a burn. Uh, but this one is a move four with initiative, low initiative. Other than unstable upheaval, it's the lowest initiative on the Crag Heart. Who lacks movement? Will I bring this card to a scenario just because of the move four? Sentient Growth seems like a stronger card. Well, attack for target all enemies adjacent to the destroyed obstacle. That's not bad either. The thing is, I have no idea how many obstacles there are in scenarios in the campaign, because I've never played the campaign. This one is... I'm pretty much guaranteed to hit triangles. So I'm going to try actively to get triangles and the enemy's formations for the Tinkerer's cards. So this one could actually go well together with that. I get low initiative. I don't get low initiative, which I kind of uh, kind of don't need. Uh, uh okay. I'll, you know what? I'll, I'll come back to it. Oh, I have to select now. Um. This is a burn. No, I'm going to take this one. Alright, and I do take the negative effect. So I don't get these two minus ones here. Uh, I have to do the level up on the Tinker. Heal four. One ally within range three may recover one of their burned cards. What? Double unstable upheaval? Seems pretty good. A burn stun two. And a move two with muddle. And garbage, well, this is easy, isn't it? I mean, we don't want to burn for two stuns. Zero attack is just a stun. The initiative is really bad. Move two with muddle is bad. This is just a bad card. I don't know, heal 4 is actually pretty good too. Yeah, the initiative is really, really bad though. 48 is like bad. You can't go late, you can't go quick. You just. You're just right in the middle. But this is the card. Alright, so this guy has eagle eye goggles. The quicker I can get him to remove the negative cards. Uh, on his deck the better oh and I have this thing what can I buy for the brute armor wow and she still cannot buy the, the boots for her this guy can't do anything either. He's the only one who's got money. He can buy an armor. Mm, do I 
I buy the armor? Do I bless myself? I think I'm just gonna bless. I think I'm just gonna bless myself. Let's go to the city encounter. Oh, we can uh, occasionally your dealings in town lead you past the bustling docks. All conversation gets drowned out by the constant din of loading and unloading cargo and crew. This makes it all the more surprising when you hear a voice about the noise directed straight at you. Oi! You with the hard looks and big arms. I desperately need some help over here. Spare a few minutes to help. Make sure I get out of port on time. Otherwise, I'll be stuck here until tomorrow. Help the captain load the ship. I will. Maybe it will increase uh, reputation or something. No, we just get paid. Five gold each. Okay. Oh, that's good. That's good. The scoundrel can buy the boots now. Yeah. Oh, we like it. Did I buy with the wrong guy? I did. Ah, too quick. Too quick. I can't really undo this, right? I can't. I can sell it. Alright. Too bad. No, 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 not this one. Yes. Wow, what a mistake. Just threw 10 gold in the garbage can. Um, right. Gotta be more careful. Gotta be more careful. What do I get for you? Oh, the cloak of invisibility. Yes. Okay. And Cragheart has nothing else to buy. Like, it's all about getting blessed now for him. And this guy here... Man... Such a clumsy mistake. So it's 2.13. I won't have time to finish the next battle. Because I have to leave... Because I'm Eastern. I'm Eastern time. I'm in the... Toronto uh, metropolitan area and uh, I need to leave in about an hour so I can't really start another battle I will go to the crypt of the damned when I come back uh, probably tonight uh, I will do crypt of the damned and this one I've only tried once on deadly and I failed I have failed this one. The only time I tried it on Deadly, I failed, and I tried it once in uh, on hard with uh, my three cousins, and uh, we failed once and we beat it once. So I've played the scenario like three times, uh, and then after this, I I have done one side quest in the campaign. It wasn't this one. It was another one. It was a side quest. And that's it. That's all we did. That's all I did in campaign. Uh, then, other than that, it's all been uh, Guildmaster. So, let's see if I can beat Crypt of the Damned this time. Uh, I think I have a strategy for this. I think I have a pretty good idea of what messed me up when I lost. So, let's see if I can get it. If I could get it right this time. But uh, we started the campaign really well. I mean, it's unbelievable. I, 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 I never thought it was going to beat uh, Black Barrow and Barrow Lair back to back on uh, plus three like that. Uh, so, yeah, uh, pretty good. Uh, so, thanks for our new followers. Um, I will disconnect now, and when I come back, probably in seven to eight hours time uh, we'll do the Crypt of the Damned thanks for watching guys uh, see you next time bye